So this is your typical email client. I'm here in uh, the Gmail app for iOS and as you can see I'm looking through my emails I'm waiting for them all to load I'm trying to find old emails whatever I may be doing I'm scrolling through a humongous list of emails and if I move to something like Apple Mail the Apple Mail client this gets arguably even worse it is a humongous list of emails just a huge amount of data thrown in your face for you to figure out it's not a great way to check emails and people have been trying to solve this for a while uh, with various email clients but none of those clients have really created an environment that can successfully manage emails in a really, really great way. Uh, but a few years ago, I guess it was, Google did with an app called Google Inbox, and it actually does a lot more than just emails. Uh, so if I come in here, you can see at first I get kind of a long list because I haven't checked my emails uh, this morning yet. But I do have, uh, right off the bat, you can see there's a lot more here than just emails. I one of the first things is if I uh, come to a web page that I like, for example, uh, the Intercept homepage, you know, if I see some stories here and I think they're really good, uh, one of the cool thing, one of the apps that I guess Inbox can replace is something like Pocket, uh, or I don't know of a lot of uh, other apps, basically an app that will aggregate saved links. And if I find a web page that I like, for example, this Intercept homepage, what I can do is just, of course, hit share, send this to Inbox, it'll bring up a little in, uh, window ask me what I want to do and I want to save it to inbox so now if I come back out to inbox what you'll see it is save that link if I click on it I can go back to the intercept homepage and read whatever stories that I thought looked interesting there but this is effectively removing the purpose of an, a pocket style app and if I uh, swipe to the left I can actually get rid of this because I've already read it uh, same thing you'll see same situation for reminders here you can see I have a reminder to uh, make the tutorial that I made last night if I click the compose button down here I have the option to create new reminders uh, this is a full Google Tasks client so instead of having a Google Tasks app or something like Todoist or the iOS reminders app uh, you can bring all of your reminders into uh, inbox and of course swipe to the left when you're done with tasks because so I have individual emails here that I haven't read yet and whenever I'm done with them I can swipe to the left and I'll be good to go uh, now of course you can click into emails that you want to see maybe I want to take a look at this later what I can do is instead of swiping from the left swipe to the right and it'll bring up a reminder screen and ask me when it wants me to actually remind me about this individual email and if we take a closer look at these reminders, there's a couple of different ways that it will work. Uh, one is the inbox will actually just send you a notification like it would any other email when you set that to be reminded. But if I hit this uh, little hamburger menu in the corner, what you can see is I have a few more options that you might want to take a look at. If I come over here to snooze, these are all the things that I've told inbox to remind me about. I have two reminders and like three emails and I'm done with a few of these. Uh, I'm done with that. I already emailed them and I'm doing the inbox review right now. So as you can see, if I come to my remind task or I guess snooze task, it functions the same way as the regular inbox, but it'll also remind me about these things uh, at whatever time of day you tell it to. Of course, if you with all Google Apps, there is a quick and easy way to manage accounts if you have more than one email account. Uh, of course, I'm coming over here to the items that we've marked as done by swiping to the left and because of somehow in the way the inbox is organizing this the search is incredible inside of this app I've never had as you know if you're looking for an old email it's almost always a pain uh, but somehow I've never had a problem searching inside of inbox the search is really great I don't know how to explain it quite but you got to take a look at the search inside of this app it's amazing now, then what you'll see I have left over is a bunch of items that say finances, purchases, promos, and that's because Inbox likes to bundle together emails uh, in a really great way. So if I come in here to my finances, you can see Inbox has read these emails, sees I get, I, I've gotten emails from PayPal, I've gotten an email from Amazon, I've gotten an email from Wells Fargo, and it said, okay, that's all finance crap, bam. Let's bundle it all together. So if I'm just wanting to see how much money I have, it's all there. Same thing with purchases. I've ordered a few books off of Amazon. It's grouped it all there for me. Promos, same things. I get like emails from like Mass Drop uh, and also like political campaigns and whatnot. And it's 
smashed all of this together. And you can see there are a number of bundled items here. There's bundles for uh, obviously the finances, purchases, uh, like, like we just showed you in the promos, you, there's also a bundle for if you still get emails from like Twitter and Facebook, it will automatically bundle together all the links that you save. It will bundle, bundle together information about trips. Uh, there's a lot of cool things that it will bundle. And this is by far, uh, I think, the best way to handle emails uh, that I have found. Uh, so I would say definitely give this a download and check it out if you haven't. It's been out for a little while now. So if you're looking for a new uh, email client, this one comes highly recommended, uh, at least as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but that's about it for this video. If you uh, like what you see, feel free to check out more on uh, this channel right here uh, or at my website, maxc.co. As always, uh, there'll be a card uh, up there to take you straight to the site. Uh, but that's all for now, and uh, I'll see you next time.